All right, guys, let's see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here for a one dollar if you guys can believe that and check it out this right over here You see the spider webs. We, you know, we always love to see the spider webs spider webs are a great sign that this stuff's been sitting a while and also the dust the dust is also a great sign, but Yesterday when I came in here, there was a huge black widow right here. I made a reel out of it. You guys may have seen it. It was a minute long showing how disgusting that was. But look at this locker I got. I spent just a dollar. Live auction. Uh, only one other guy showed up. Again, this is a very lucky thing for us because usually when no one shows up, it's garbage. This one's not garbage. This one looks actually kind of decent. The last one was garbage. This one has got some potential. Look at this. Black belt. <sighs> leader right there that's kind of interesting a lot of lumber P the pipe clamps right here those i think are some money a little bit of money oh there's a tarp could use that at the flea market and what's with the diapers guys i think i'm going to call this one the land of the diapers because look at all these diaper boxes like for days diaper boxes for days all right yes uh lots of bi diaper boxes and what's is kind of interesting about this not i don't know if it's interesting but it says boys zero to three boys three t the ones up here also have girls and boys in the sizes jenna called it right away when we saw this she's like it's probably baby clothes and i think she's right all right i'm switching to my iphone because it's a little dark in here and that light bulb right there somebody crunched the bulb so it does not work but i wanted to give you guys kind of a tour of the inside of this thing it's interesting i did walk back here yesterday to kind of look around just uh curious what i see what's this portable washer right here 0.9 cubic foot portable washer oh this right here furniture some sort of furniture maybe it looks brand new in the box let's hope see what i mean boys 24 months to 2t boys size 4t women's pants shorts something that says 18w 18 weeks maybe it's i don't know women's there's a bar stool right here vacuum cleaner a uh, big piece of wood right here What's behind that oh a little is that i think that's for a dog a little fence area for a dog but it might be for a kid too Quasinart box and then look at all these racks look at the racks yeah racks rack city a lot of stuff here guys i mean a lot of boxes what's your feel and then of course we have some furniture over there what's your feel on this uh because i almost feel like reseller like who has that many kids clothes who keeps that many kids clothes and then back here we have a bunch of boxes now this is gets kind of interesting look at this right here that's looks like it says lego right lego what does that say lego castle lego, lego table lego cable that doesn't make any sense um i don't know it's kind of that's interesting <laughs> and of course big old stinking mattress right here yeah i don't like that oh, looks like I got some more furniture oh a bed frame back there okay okay lots of boxes Look at this huge wood box right here with the piano hinge right there. More shelving back here. Got some red boxes here. G Gianna noticed something that was really interesting. Look at this. Look at this right here. What's that say? It looks like it says coins. But then it also has a label on this side. So who knows? But yeah, coins would be good. Look at all these racks here. Jeez. Here. Oh my goodness. There's diapers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Straight up diapers, and then more racks here, boxes for days, and then uh, got these uh, mattresses. But look behind it, guys. <laughs> How many mattresses are here? I see at least three. There might be more. Actually, maybe it's cardboard boxes back there. More diaper boxes. Um, I don't know what this is. This is very interesting. Wait, okay, so there's more diapers here. More diapers. Could this all be diapers, really? That, Okay, that's actually good though, right? Brand new diapers. So those are diaper boxes. Oh, and then beer boxes. Full of clothes, maybe. Looks like it. But then we also have new diapers. I was talking about the spider. The dead spider is still there. All right. So what do you guys think? This was $1, guys. I mean, I can't say like, oh, it's a gamble. Am I going to make profit here? Oh, of course I'm going to make profit here. There's so much stuff, but it's a lot of work. A lot of work. And uh, this, ooh, look at the size of this furniture here. Yikes two very large pieces of furniture there yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be a pain to move i'm not complaining i'm just saying 
So guys, um, this one's exciting. We bought three lockers uh, last week and you already seen one. If you didn't go back and watch it because it was actually right down the aisle here. It's not very far. And that one was also a dollar and that one was also a 10 by 25 as is this one here. Why did we get it so cheap? Well, the other bidder, he was saying that he was having back problems and he did not want a large locker. So he did not want to even bid on these. These were more than he could handle right now because of his health. And um, luckily my health's been very very good lately I've been having uh, a lot of physical activity and no troubles at all I've been feeling great actually still very tired at night this this job poops me out because I'm on these blood thinners and blood whatever's you know tons of medicines and I think it's zapping my strength or my energy I should say but um, but I've been feeling good I mean last week worked kind of six out of the seven days was physical labor days uh, today loaded this trailer check this out we got the u-haul again rental my trailer's supposed to be back in a few days fingers crossed uh, and I have have some room which is why I'm starting this I wasn't planning on starting this today but I need the top off this load and you see the mattress on there from the other unit and the ladder I also have my back seat I need to I need to make the most of every trip to the market because it is an hour away all right guys so let's get digging here and see what we find I don't think we're gonna have too many surprises in the front here but you never know but my main objective right now is get this full to the brim okay all right you know what I might take that home and stick it on this mattress tonight protect that overnight look at that the locker is already providing for us guys i love it i love it a lot of cobwebs on top and dust there's some uh looks like princess sheets oh yeah it is disney stuff disney princess sheets it's a good start that that stuff sells box of mm -hmm. oh look at this disney things right here it's clean. I don't know if it's brand new, but it is clean inside. Hmm. It's mostly kid stuff. Kid stuff. But you know what? I'm going to pull that out. And I did bring these bins here. There we go. You know how we do it, guys. We have these bins that we like to put our better, better stuff into. And I am hoping to find a little better stuff in here. Okay, this is... This is not bad right here. Hmm. Huh. Little overalls, cute. It is, looks like all baby clothes. And if that's the case, we're gonna be able to move kind of quick on this stuff. Boys, six to nine months is what it says, maybe? Three to six months, okay. Toots, <laughs> little fleece blanket. Tiger claw, tiger claw. These are some punching pads right here. They're into some martial arts, apparently. It's a black belt bag's not just for show, huh? Look at this. Snug glider right here. Great kill. Infrank car swing frame. We'll probably be able to sell that pretty easy. And more baby clothes. Boys, six to nine months. Yep, that's what it looks like. Okay, this one, big black bag, Martial Arts America. Okay, let's see what's in here. Mm-hmm, more karate stuff. Tiger claw. Cool. Some geese and belts. I don't know if there's resale on that, but we're going to try to sell it. All right, guys, I'm just going through the boxes, not, not stopping too much for filming because it's just baby clothes. Here's an Exer saucer right here. Man, that, that, that'll probably sell. This one says bottles and BF accessories. That's what it is. Oh, look at this. A brand new playpen and that's just like the other one over there so that is for kids not for dogs oh. this one appears to be brand new sealed never opened let me wait on that one for a second and boys something more clothes okay this one's a little different huh we got something that's never even been oh maybe it was open i don't know what is this it looks fancy, whatever it is, it says Merci, more French stuff. Huh, some costume jewelry, probably like some princess neck necklace, maybe for a party or something. Gift bag, maybe, I don't know. Hmm, there's a different one. Um, it's kind of interesting. I'll put that aside. What else we got in here? Stickers, <laughs> thank you cards, Winnie the Pooh stuff. Parts of the Caribbean, thank you cards. Big huge bag of clothespins. 
SpongeBob inflatable swim ring. That's funny. I'll put that aside. Summer's coming, so. Uh, some, whoa, ooh, a lot of sewing stuff. What's in here? <clears throat> what the heck? Hmm. Having a hard time getting this open. There we go. Okay, beads and stuff, a little craft stuff. Is that good stuff? Should I put that aside? I don't know. What's this? Business cards. Looks like she was an independent beauty consultant. That's what her business cards say. So, baby's first book, little Disney stuff here. My baby book. Hmm. Oh, looks like some brand new stuff here. Oh, look at this, guys. Bumbo. <laughs> A bumbo seat. We had these for both Grace and Camille and uh, loved them. They're so cool. Nice. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll put that aside. I'm not sure. We have a couple grandkids, and um, this is some news, guys. You will... <laughs> it's not public news right now, but by the time this comes out, it will be. We've got another grandkid coming. Our daughter, Faith, and her new husband, Noah, they are expecting. And we're very excited. And I think by the time this comes out, we'll also know the gender, although we don't know that right now. So you can see I'm doing something that I hardly ever do, which is just grab and go. I'm not really going through these boxes. We'll go through them at the market, but I'm pretty confident they are what they say they are. Baby clothes, kid clothes. I'm taking a chance that maybe there's, you know, jewelry box in one of them or something, but highly unlikely. Let's see what's in here. And there's spider nests on there. Look at that. <laughs> Rose. Yep, more, more uh, karate stuff. That's kind of cool though. Hiya! More clothes. Look at this, guys. I just moved this box. There's another Black Widow. Another one. And he's a fatty too. Not as big as the last one, but still pretty fat. I just barely moved that and he crawled out. I gotta take care of him. Taking care of business. Disgusting. Oh man, guys. It's getting, like, just all of a sudden, it's getting super dark. Super, super dark. Okay, this looks like. I don't know, bedding and a little clothes thrown in. It's getting a little sloppy in here. Let's see what this is. A yobi. And that's what it be. Circular saw, that's nice. We'll sell that. Yep, it says DVD racks and that's what it is, if you guys can see it. Oh, there's another bug crawled out. I have a feeling this is a bowling ball. I would really like to be wrong on that. Uh, there's some bowling shoes, I think. Yep, bowling ball. Wait a second. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at that. It's a Mickey Mouse bowling ball. I have never seen that before. Made in the USA. That is actually kind of cool. That might that might have a little value right there. I'm not going to sell him right this second. I'll have to look him up, and I, I don't have the time right this second because I got a boogie, guys. I'm losing my light. Okay, guys, there's the progress that we made tonight. Not too bad. Oh, that light keeps flashing. It's kind of weird. Feels like we're in a disco. But this ain't no disco. <laughs> this ain't no disco. All right, let's get on the uh, road here. And you can see uh, not a bad not a bad showing there. I've definitely filled it up. There's a little bit of void back here. Oh, I just remembered I got my back seat still. But you know what? I'm not putting no Black Widow spider infested stuff in my back seat. Heck no. Heck no. All right, that's going to have to do it. And then we're going to go to the market tomorrow. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Okay, we're back. This is the next day. Went to the flea market today. Did terrible, um, but at least we had those baby clothes. That maybe, maybe we got a hundred bucks for it. I'm not really sure. Well, we did pull a little circular saw out. Got twenty bucks for that. So, but um, anyways, came home with three hundred bucks. Long day at the flea market, and that's not including the sixty bucks to rent the U-Haul and the gas. So that was that was a sucky day. But I guess it's better than going the dump, I guess. Not much. But anyways, uh, as you can see, it's raining. It wasn't raining at all at the flea market. There wasn't supposed to be any rain today at all, anywhere. The weather's been very unpredictable lately, but I'm like sitting here waiting for it to stop raining because I don't have a whole lot of room to work in here. And anything I pull out obviously is gonna get wet. So, and I have this truck today. So I just threw in some scrap metal here. I'm gonna run down and recycle that real quick. And hopefully it'll be done raining because I still have some energy. I still wanna do some digging. And um, uh, anyways, let me get to that. 
All right, just like that, I'm back. Dropped off that metal, scrap metal, and then it was still raining, so check it out, I got a haircut. That was a good use of time because now it is not raining, and <laughs> forecast says it's not supposed to, but forecast has been very wrong. All right, let's start moving some stuff. I need to make some room in here because I really need to process, and this is just a very uh, messy locker. Let's try to organize this a bit. All right, finally, finally, we're at some unboxing now. Ooh, check this out. Game of Life, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Nice. And here's the Electronic Monopoly right here. These are sealed brand new games. That's pretty good. It's another Game of Life there. That. This one's sealed. This one's sealed. I think I might pull the sealed ones out and uh, take those home. You know, I don't know. Maybe we'll sell those in our live auction. Maybe. These ones, uh, since they're all open, I'll just bring them to the market. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, not baby clothes. Kenneth Cole, reaction. Ooh, oh, look at this. Nautica, brand new with tags, extra large. Yeah, that's okay, that's all right. Let's start a Dianza clothes box here. Of course, we prefer the vintage clothes. That one kind of looks a little vintage-y. Yeah, that's an old tag right there. Ah. I think that's a single stitch sweatshirt right here, guys. That's not bad. San Jose Spartans, San Jose State. I went there for a semester. <laughs> one semester, and then look at this right here. Very nice. Oh, that is, that is a beautiful sweater. NFL, extra large, 49ers. <laughs> Nice embroidery in nice condition. This is uh, this is good, guys. We're getting better clothes now. <laughs> Willpower, and it's got William Shakespeare. This is another vintage shirt or sweatshirt, single stitch. We know what we are, but no, not what we may be. Very nice, very nice. These are at least ten bucks a piece, I'd say. Oh, breaking through in '92. That is a ah, oh, it's starting to rain again. What the heck? You gotta be kidding me. That to me looks like a, no, the San Jose Spartans? No, Kennedy High School. How funny, that's in Fremont. That's actually where we grew up, Jan and I both. And that's a, a, a rival rival school, basically. Another, another high school in town there. Dang it, it's really starting to rain. I can't believe my luck right now. It's terrible, but at least my luck for the clothes is getting a little better. Yes, Jameson. So this one is also looks like a single stitch right here. See, single stitch and single stitch and single stitch. Not bad. Jameson and Sons, little whiskey, alcohol shirts. Maybe that'll sell. I don't really know. All we can do is bring it out and try it. And it's still raining. I'm getting a little ticked off now. What is this? This is another single stitch right here, but <laughs> what is this? Bungee jump. Oh my goodness. How cool. I did it. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. I've, I've bungee jumped a couple times. Yeah, that's cool. Another vintage shirt. This is vintage clothes, guys. In this $1 locker, if you could believe that. $1 on this locker. Pink Palace, Colorado. Another single stitch. Nice. Should be $10 a piece on these, I think. They might not all sell, but it's stocked in today. We could barely get two or three bucks for uh, a piece of clothing. This is a vintage beach towel. I don't know if that's got any collectability or not, but to heck with it. I'll bring it out. This guy put some, definitely some uh, vintage stuff in this little cabinet here. So, besides the Nautica, another, nope, this is double stitch. Reebok, though. It's got the embroidered tag right there. Hmm. Reebok. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, I'll put it aside. Dickies extra large. Double stitch. I'll just put that right back to the Stockton flea market. Cambridge. Okay. Another Dickies right here. This is not a vintage shirt. So, but it'll probably sell. Windridge. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Top drawer. Oh. <laughs> Top drawer. Oh, look at this. 2000. The new millennium. Funny. Fitzgerald's. Oh, this is nice. San Francisco hat right here. $11 at Walmart. Uh, I think that was a while ago. That's a nice hat. Brand new. San Francisco. Ooh, that's a nice. Pennzoil Racing. Hang on a second now. Shoot, some of these hats might be a little bit better. Ooh, this is good. Another Pennzoil. Oh, wait. Pennzoil Racing, but what's this? Who's that? Do you guys know who this is right here? I don't know my racers. I'm not into NASCAR or nothing. Who's that? That hopefully is somebody good. Okay, that's gonna go in maybe our whatnot auctions. Okay, that's a little bit better. Callaway Golf, that's a nice hat right there. That's a nice hat. 
And a Callaway Golf. Okay, a couple of nice Callaway Golf hats. I'll bring those home. Ooh, Red Dog Saloon. Hell, Cayman Islands. That's kind of a funny one. Gray Bar, Summit Racing. Nike Air. Ooh, that's nice. Right? Another 49ers. Another 49ers. Alaska. Alcatraz. Ugh, that one's dirty, though. And, ooh, Bud Racing. Budweiser. That's a nice one. Ooh, I'm not sure what to do with those guys. I'll, I'll let those go to the market. These better ones, maybe on our whatnot auction. Maybe. Cotton handkerchiefs right there. There's only two. This is probably the other one, maybe. I don't know. And a little leather belt. All right. Okay, that was a good. This is this is much better than baby clothes. And decent games, decent vintage clothes. Guys, that, that gives me hope that there's something better back here. This is good stuff right here. Okay, and then we got this right here. This bag, I already peeked in here a little earlier. We have a kid's costume, Darth Vader. We've got a very small children's costume with Yoda. It looks like, uh, is that 24 toddler? toddler size then we got all these masks and i was almost gonna bring these home put in our auction but they're pretty dirty that one looks all right but they're, they're just kind of dirty and i don't want to clean them up they're cheap felt but it is disney okay we got what is this called a fish fish line or something like that fish tape mm, yeah fish tape oh look at that i actually knew it not bad that was it and this big wood cabinet, it's like parkle board, but dang it, it's like missing knobs. I think this is going to go to the dump. I do not think this will sell in Stockton. Oh, I should have taken this to e recycle too. This is like an old, with the uh, old iPhone charger, or old iPod rather. Looks kind of dirty. Trash. Insulated suspension clamps. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. He knows the market, but this stuff looks like trash. And, oh man, unfortunately, I think this big cabinet is going to be trash. I might bring my sledgehammer and break it up first. Uh, like it's thrash. I mean, it's, yeah. Nobody's going to want that. I can almost guarantee it, guys. I can almost guarantee it. And these things are kind of curious. Look at this, guys. Some heavy-duty shock absorber there. The spring. This is, this cannot be cheap, this piece right here. What is this for? I'm like, I mean... Uh, what do you put on there that is definitely something heavy duty do you put like uh your washing machine on that to keep it from walking around the room if it's you know what i mean i don't know i doubt that's what it's for but this is for something i'm thinking i was almost going to bring that to the scrap metal and then i'm like ah, someone might be able to use that at the market and it does look like it costs a few bucks let's see what's in here yeah more karate stuff that stuff did not sell today this might right here this this has a chance of selling for a little bit this is a, like uh what do you call this i forget but they're it's like bamboo but practice weapons right there that might sell at the market this i don't think will none of this will <laughs> look at this guys i think this is like it's supposed to oh my goodness it is look at this it's supposed to look like a knife or a gun. So when you're practicing karate or you're teaching self-defense, this is like, hi -ya! you know what I mean? You know, yeah, pretty funny. I don't think I've ever found one of those before. Okay, guys, under that, under that bag, we've got a barrel. And, uh-oh, this barrel's heavy. Not super heavy, but there's definitely something in here. This makes me a little nervous. This could be a big problem right here if it's... You know what I mean? It could be a dead body. It could be a bunch of used motor oil. Oh man. I prefer to stay away from a barrel, but I bought it. Oh boy, that's not opening. <clears throat> what the heck is this? Nothing splashing around in there, but there's definitely something in here. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver and come back to this. It's pretty cool though. All right, what's in here? More karate. Yep, 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 yep. These boards are breaking. In the other bag, and I've checked the little pocket. We did also find these gloves right here, boxing gloves, rev gear. I don't think that's anything expensive, but we'll bring it to Dienza, the better flea market. All right, books, 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 books. Oh, I got some Disney books here, though. You know what? That's actually a little bit better right here. I've said this many times before, but children's books do sell. 
Especially if they're not all scribbled in with crayons and such. That one's a little dirty, but inside's clean. Okay, this is actually decent. We can sell these Disney books. Ooh, yeah. That's a very nice size collection here. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's a few bucks. The rest of it, no. It goes to the market. All right, there's a breast pumping thing. Medela and these. Ah, oh, I don't think they really sell. They might at the at the Stockton flea market. We got a bunch of the supplies for this that were in one of the other boxes. And those, um, I think someone bought them, but they only bought like the brand new stuff. The stuff that was still sealed. Okay, for bottles right there. Yeah, not too much value here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Quasinart, good brand. And, oh, and that's what it is. And it looks brand new. Maybe. Oh, guys, this is decent. A little griddle, griddler gourmet. GR-4NFR. That appears to be brand new, but I have found them before where they packed them back up and made them look pretty, but they were not. They were dirty. Huh. I gotta see if that's worth anything before I flip that to the market too quick. Okay, what's this? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is funny. <laughs> it's an Elmo chair. That is hilarious. Hilarious. I like it. Alright, another karate bag. Jeez Louise. Maybe this is for their kids and as the kids outgrew them. Ah, oh, there's a couple more of those little weapons right there. Put those aside. But as the kids outgrew them, perhaps they just got a new bag and new gear and put the old one in storage. What is this? Tiger Club? No. What does it say? Tiger Claw. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Very cool. Same thing, but nice decals on it wait no it's not no it's not that screws together and this is a bow i think uh right is that what it's called a staff right a bow staff Ooh, that's cool Ooh, that's dope 60 inch hmm more of this stuff there we go there's the boxing gloves it's hoping to find those i think these have a better chance of selling than the other stuff, but I might be totally wrong. Oh, look at another gun right here. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Right, let's see what kind of hanging clothes we got here. Oh, guys, look at this. This is interesting. Are these brand new? Um, I don't think they're brand new. But these are all little kid costumes right here. Look at this. Ah, oh, it's dirty though. Hmm. Ninja Turtles. These are all kid costumes. This is awesome. It's another Ninja Turtles. A lot of Disney stuff here. <laughs> There's Finding Nemo, it looks like. Oh, hilarious. Look at that. Oh, big boy. Okay, this is a Halloween bag for sure. Ugh. But am I going to save it till Halloween? No, probably not. I don't think I can sit on it that long. Okay, this is Boys 2T. And then it is more kid clothes. Oh, ooh, that smells good in here. Look at that. That's all spices and they're, they're full. Oh, spice rack. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay, this one's heavy. Oh, oh, and that's why I got a couple brand new things. Look at this Disney puzzle. Photo mosaics. That is good. What is this? Oh, this one. Ah, it's a little smashed up, but look at this. Puzzle 3D. You got a castle. Disney Princess Castle. Fantastic, guys. $20. Disney right there. Ooh, this is good stuff for. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Okay. That appears to be new inside. Pumpkin Masters World of Disney. Pumpkin decorating kit. This is a little scuffed up right here. I don't think that has too much value. We'll let that go to the market. I'm not waiting until Halloween anyways. It's a candle holder right there, but look at this. That's some Disney plush right here. Uh, and that's pretty good. I like finding that. What's this stuff? Artwork and certificate enclosed. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is some original, looks like watercolors with the artist. And there's the certificate. Oh, designer of scars for Hermes. Hermes. There's the COA right there. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. That might be worth a little bit of money. 2005. Serio lithograph in color on paper. Okay, so this is not an original piece of art, but it is a limited high quality print. There's something else right here. Different artists. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I like finding this kind of stuff. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, really pretty. The artist signed. So, oh, nice. Definitely nice. Okay, this is some good stuff, guys. 
Now we're finding some stuff for our live auction. Oh, show. Oh, show. Lion King, Broadway musical program there. I don't know if that has any value. Carnival Cruise Lines. Eh, I don't think that's got any value. So Winnie the Pooh, what is this? Large accessory, no paint needed. What is it? Oh, it's a rub on transfer for your wall. That's kind of neat. Okay, Ooh, what's this? Exclusive commemorative lithograph from the Aladdin cartoon. Ooh. Wait, what's this? Oh, really nice. Beautiful condition too. Nice. How much was this and when did they buy it? That's what I want to know. Uh, it doesn't show the price. It's actually X'd out and I don't see the date either. Too bad. Oh, it's got a little crease on it right there. Oh, these are stamps right here. First day of issue stamps. D Art of Disney Friendship. So this is something to put on the wall. Oh man, that's, that's actually nice too. Here's another program. Disney on Ice, Beauty and the Beast. Again, I don't think that has too much value, but I don't know. What is this? Come on, more art, please. I'm loving the art. Uh, Disney Pixar Cars. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, wait, what is this? Uh, these are some kind of high quality prints right here. With the. Oh, this is neat. Okay. Like posters. Hmm. Huh. Disney Store exclusive, it says. 2006. And then we got Blue Man Group Program. Okay. Lion King Playbill. Medieval time, someone went to Vegas. San Francisco Ballet Nutcracker, I don't think that's anything either. All right, that looks like a poster. I'm running out of light here, guys, so I'm gonna go a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker, more playbills. Right, let's see what this is. This is a little heavy. Oh, nice. Disney catalog. Oh, what do we got? Oh, this is good. First up, we got a couple pins. This is 50th anniversary or something with the Tinker Bells. And, okay, I don't know what this is. We'll open that later. I want to see what this is. Two disc special edition right here. Little Mermaid. Oh, these are some nice quality prints right there. Yes. Good, 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 good. <laughs> it was really sick if it started raining on me right now. And spe Cinderella special edition. Oh, this is so cool. Friendships, another m more of the first day of issue stamps. Disney on Ice, 100 Years of Magic. Leading the Tramp. What? What is all this, guys? Look at this. Tons of stuff. Disney Store exclusive. I don't know if this all came in the same package to them or if they just used the box and put all these things in there. Two disc special edition. I don't understand what the disc is in reference to. This Barbie, Aladdin, Lion King, and that's it. Super cool. All right, this is gonna be some good stuff to sell in our auction. And then at the bottom of this dirty box right here, I've got a Little Mermaid Disney pin. Very nice, guys. Oh, please bring on some more pins. We love the Disney pins. That was fun stuff for us to sell, and that's just a bag. Okay guys, it is actually starting to get dark now. We lose the light very quickly, and unfortunately, my day is just so messed up today. But I, I see a box here I want to get out. I just want to kind of see what the flavor is in this shelf right here. It looks like some, I don't know, I see some new stuff, so... New merchandise, you know? Okay. Okay, yep, Mickey Mouse. Mouse and mouse pad set right there. Brand new. I don't think there's too much value on that, but it is, it's Disney, so. Oh, <laughs> what do we got here? Toy Story frame right here, $22 brand new from the Disney parks. That is a good find. Any Disney, guys, any Disney. I am happy. Metal, I'm gonna make another trip to the metal recycling, so. There's a little Thunder After Lightning lunch pill right here. Cars, Disney, cool. All right, heart to heart prenatal listening system. <laughs> I maybe should bring that home and see if our daughter Faith wants uh, to use that. She is she is pregnant right now. Little Mickey, I don't know what it is. Hmm, safety for your kids so they can't open the door. Ah, Disney, Disney, Disney. What do we got? What's this? Oh, that's funny. Pirates. Hmm. What is this? Wrapped up really, really well. Oh my goodness, it's wrapped up super well. What is it? Oh, it's a nice picture frame. Princesses. The Princess Club Disneyland Resort. It looks brand new. I see why they wrapped it up too, because like probably this would break off and yeah. They kept it they kept it in perfect condition. And I'm going to wrap it right back up in this. This is some nice wrapping right here. That is definitely something we'll sell in our live auction, guys. 
So if you like this kind of stuff, you know where to find it, whatnot, Monday nights, and maybe some other nights too. We're gonna have a lot of good merchandise coming out of this locker, I think. And guys, I needed a win, because the last couple have been terrible. All right, guys, I don't even know if you can see this, what I'm pulling. I know I'm pulling out some spider webs too, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> but as long as we got a little bit of light, we're gonna keep going. Can't stop, won't stop. What is this stuff? Uh, Alright, looks like we're getting into clothes. We're getting back to clothes. Wait, wait, this is not kids' clothes though. Oh, please be some good adults' clothes. Double stitch. Oh, Disney. Disney, right here. Double stitch, but it's a Disney. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. The only difference between you and me is that I'm a genius who will someday rule the world and you're just an idiot. That is funny. Family Guy. Size extra, extra large. Then we've got Disney Store, double XL. If you can see what it is, it is a Toy Story. There's Buzz Lightyear. Oh, this is great. Invincible Iron Man, Disney Store, double XL, Thunderbird, premium lager. Oh, this looks, it almost looks like a Wonder Woman uh, logo. I don't think it is. Uh, St. John's Bay. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at this shirt. Disney Studio Collection. It's double XL. Oh, man, that's too big for me. That is a, that's a freaking awesome shirt with Fantasia. Ooh, that's a good shirt. That is a really good shirt. <laughs> American Original Mickey Mouse. Oh, my goodness. Kicking it old school. That is really cool, too. This is good. Mickey Mouse Around the World. Double XL. San Francisco Giants right here. Okay, that will just go to Danza. Good shirt, it's just not like the others. Uh, Covington, that's nothing special. All right, but these are all fantastic shirts right here. Nice. Wait, wait, we got more. We got more. <laughs> that's good. Triple XL, Grumpy. Incredibles, double XL, nice. We want you, Great America. Oh, nice. Great America is an amusement park down in Santa's, or where is it, Santa Clara? And uh, yeah, we've been going there since we were kids. Nice, double XL. <laughs> okay guys, that light sucks, I'm sorry. I just, I don't wanna quit, I wanna keep going. Uh, okay, book, dang it, dang it. That's where our luck ran out. <laughs> we got books. We got a lot of books in the same series though, but I don't think that's worth anything. All right, so, I don't know. I'll either donate or bring this to the market. All right, one more box. <gasps> oh, no way. <laughs> this one, I grabbed this from over where those bar stools are. Oh, Nintendo DS. Oh, <gasps> please. Oh, no, it's not here. What the heck? Not here. No, 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 no. Come on. Guys, look. Wait a second. These are all not here. Please, let's find... Ooh, Zelda. Not here. Please, let's find, uh, like, a organizer with tons of the DS's in them. Look at all these DS games. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to quit. I'm going gonna, gonna to quit. Can you even see this? I don't even know if you can see this. Oh, that was fun at the end. Okay, I think we're going to quit, guys. And maybe we'll go ahead and quit this video, too. I'm not sure. Uh, but you know what? It's been a long two days, and... I'm a little tired. It's 6.30, but I got up at 3.45 in the morning. This light's really starting to freaking bug me, and um, the light in there, as I mentioned earlier, is broken, so I can't get the light on in there. It's getting really dark in there. Um, this is a 10 by 25. Guys, I am so excited right now. This is very encouraging. We've barely started biting in this thing, and I thought it was going to be mostly baby clothes, but we found vintage shirts. We found a, a fair amount of Disney stuff. I think this person was really into Disney, and if we find more Disney stuff, especially the trading pins, and now we find in video game boxes this is this is getting extremely interesting there's so many boxes in the back there could be a lot of good stuff in here and i'm excited and i'm happy and i hope you guys are enjoying this because what a blast and this was only a dollar this this is this is a good locker all right this is a good locker even a thousand dollars i think this is going to be a good locker I get my trailer back this uh, this week, Friday or Saturday. I'll get my trailer back, and then we're going to be able to clear this thing out super quick. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Okay, guys, I, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back here tomorrow filming, digging, having fun, going on adventures together. I hope you come back for more. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.